everyone, this is Colin. In this video, I will introduce what is fiber bracket grating, also called FBG. So let's get started. Simply put, a fiber bracket grating is a distributed bracket reflector. This is what a simple FBG looks like. Normal fibers have uniform refractive index along the length. But in the FBG, the refractive index of the core changes periodically along the short length. As shown in this picture, the period is lambda. So what kind of effect will this have on the fiber's light guiding properties? Let's look at the next slide. As shown here, when a light with many wavelengths is launched into an FBG, one particular wavelength is in phase with the grating period, and this wavelength is reflected back to the input end. All other wavelengths pass through to the other end, since they are not in phase with the grating period. This makes FBG reflect a particular wavelength and transmit all others. On this slide, it shows the spectrum response of a FBG. The first graph is the input spectrum, the center graph is the transmitted spectrum, and the third graph is the reflected spectrum. Here is a close-up view of the reflected spectrum. Bragg grating wavelength lambda b is a central wavelength that is reflected back by the FBG. Lambda b can be calculated using this equation. We can see that Lambda b is the function of the effective refract index and the period of the grating. Delta lambda is the bandwidth of a Bragg grating. Delta lambda is the wavelength spacing between the first minima, and it is given in this equation. The previous sample shows a very basic FBG, but you can change FBG's refract index profile or the grating period to achieve many different designs. The grating period can be uniform or graded and either localized or distributed in a superstructure, as shown in the left picture. On the other hand, you can change the refractive index profile or the offset. Typically, the refractive index profile can be uniform or appetized, and the refractive index offset is positive or zero. The right picture shows different refractive index changes. Fiber bright gratings have many applications in modern fiber optic communication systems. They have been used as optical ad job multiplexers, dispersion compensators, and stress and temperature sensors. Fiber bright gratings can be made using holographic approach with a bulk interferometer. The UV beam is divided into two at a beam splitter and then brought together at a mutual angle of theta by reflections from two UV mirrors. The two UV beams interfere and write the pattern on the photosensitive fiber. So there you have it. We offer many free fiber optic tutorials at fo4sale.com. Check it out today. I will see you in the next video.